brought to you by BoardGameAtlas.com, the fastest growing board game community in the world. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Cloud Spire in about three minutes. Review copy used. There is a solo mode complete with a solo scenario book. It's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty complex game. They who control the source controls Ankar, a realm of floating land masses and warring factions. Can you master the terrain, harness the source, maneuver your forces and build a mighty defensive fortress? Or will the enemy smash your gates and ruin you? Cloud Spy has solo, co-op and competitive modes of play, but generally you win if you smash your opponent's fortress gates while keeping yours protected. Action programming. Many units in Cloud Spy move along pre-planned paths. Asymmetry. Each faction has totally different units and fortress upgrades. Player turn. Each player has a fortress board which shows their upgrades as well as a reference sheet along with a stack of different units they can deploy. Units are double sided and have health, damage, speed, recruit cost, rewards for defeating them and special abilities. There are also range, damage and defense upgrade tokens that can be added to some units. Units come in three types. Heroes who move independently, units who move on pre-programmed paths and spires that don't move at all. The round starts with an event card being drawn and played. Then each player gains source. On turn 1 this is 5, but by turn 4 it is 11. Source is used in the market phase to buy terrain tiles or mercenaries and in the build phase to upgrade your fortress. The cost for each upgrade is shown on your reference card. Pay the cost and place a pin in the board to show the upgrade. You can also build spires on source wells you control, including the ones in your base. Next you recruit using command points, which is the same base number as source you just gained. Here we have a zero cost hero and 5 points of units, and we add health markers under each of them. We can choose to stack one unit under another to protect it like so. Once that's done, we place our ready units on the gate and then nominate which opponent we are moving towards. Units will move their speed down the path to your target. If they come within range of an enemy spire, it can attack, rolling a number of dice equal to its attack tokens. For each hit, remove one health from a unit. If you are beside an exploration marker, you can choose to look at it. This may lead to a fight, but once the token is removed, you may be able to build a spire on that spot. Next comes your combat. Combat. Our unit has 3 range, so it can attack the grey unit for 1 damage, or the spire removing its bottom token. On your opponent's turn, their units advance and attack, doing enough damage to remove the top unit. This gives them a reward of source, but also reveals the protected unit on full health, which was the plan, as this incorporeal unit can move through your opponents and they can't turn to fight. Hero units can move any way they want, but note that terrain has an impact on where you can move. Why would you like this game? Let's get the obvious out of the way first. Cloud Spire is not a cheap game, but its production values are through the roof. In particular, the poker chips are weighty and feel wonderful to play with. Cloud Spire is for people who want an intensely competitive and mentally challenging chess match of a game. The mixture of pre-planning your turn, but being able to react with your heroes gives Cloud Spire a unique decision space. I also like that you can manipulate the board and board positioning of spires and tiles is a huge part of winning the game. The best thing about this game is the asymmetry is off the charts. Each faction doesn't feel a little different, they have totally different toolkits, powers and playstyles. However, while the core gameplay isn't too complex, the number of exceptions and special rules are a handful. It's hard to remember what your own unit skills are, let alone your opponents. The learning curve is steep. Like the idea of defending against swarms of attackers? Try Dawn of the Zeds. And want something a lot simpler? Try The Captain is Dead, Dangerous Planet. Cloud Spire, I now know what a MOBA is. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, support us on Patreon, and check out our website.